Here's three steps that I used to go from zero to now 250,000 streams a month on Spotify. Hey, it's John here. If you're new to my channel, I'm the founder of one of the largest music promotion platforms in the world called Hyped It. I'm an independent music artist with over 12 million streams on Spotify. But what's most important, I've helped over 10,000 artists and bands grow their music to over 100 million streams together on Spotify. In this video, I'm going to break down the exact three-step process that I used to go from zero to now about a quarter million monthly streams on Spotify. These are real strategies that work for me and I believe that can help you grow your music too. Step number one, automated Instagram and Facebook ads. The first thing that made a huge difference for me was using Instagram and Facebook ads to target diehard fans of my music. And that's because the results I'm getting from music ads, they stack up over time. And here's what I mean by this. Artists who promote their music with playlist promotion usually see that the listeners they gained from a promo campaign go away once the promo campaign ends. So let's say if they gain 10,000 listeners from a playlist promotion they paid for, and then they lose the same 10,000 listeners listeners at the end of the campaign and they always stay in the same spot unless of course they raise the budget. Why does this happen? It's actually super simple. Listeners of a playlist are there for the playlist not for a particular artist or song and so they are mostly passive listeners. That means they are unlikely to engage with individual songs on the playlist or become repeat listeners of an artist on the playlist. I have a jazz playlist on Spotify that I love and I've listened to almost every evening for the past six months. All right, no kidding. I just love the sound on that playlist, but I couldn't name any song or any artist on the playlist. If a song on that playlist gets removed by the playlist curator, then it'll have lost me as a listener instantly because I'm a passive listener of the playlist, like most playlist listeners are. But with music ads, on the other hand, results stack over time. If I gain 10,000 listeners from ads and I stop my ads, a portion of these listeners will stay. And that's because they discovered my music on Instagram or Facebook and then they came to Spotify just to check me out. In that moment, I'm not one among hundreds of artists on a playlist. I'm the only artist they came for. And that's why I get so many saves and repeat listeners from it. And what also made a huge difference for me was that instead of just sending music fans from ads to a single release or song, I started driving that traffic to a Spotify playlist that just features my own music on it. And this simple shift helped me to not only get streams on just one song, but on multiple tracks, just maximize how many streams I get for each listener. Hey, John here, interrupting myself real quick to talk about getting real listener streams and fans on Spotify fast. Look, if you've been grinding away at music promotion, but you aren't seeing the results, I've been there. Any promo method you can think of, I've tried it. Playlist promotion, social media, Heimer promoter, I've done it. But nothing works like music ads on Instagram and Facebook that grow my fan base on Spotify 24 seven, even when I sleep. And the fastest way to launch these ads is with the Spotify growth switch, a new system that uses AI to launch Spotify promo campaigns in seconds. It works for any genre and it is so easy just like flipping on a spotlight switch for your music. And here's the best part. Right now, it's 90% off. That means you can get $180 of value for just $17. And then watch your Spotify listeners and streams grow nonstop just for giving this a try. To check out the Spotify Grow Switch, simply click the link below in the description. And now back to the video. Step number two, leveraging Spotify's popularity score. So the next big move was managing my promotion strategy based on Spotify's popularity score. And for those of you who aren't familiar, every track on Spotify has a popularity score that ranges from zero to 100. And when one of my tracks was nearing a score of 20, I pushed it harder with ads to bump it into the mid 20s. Now, why does this matter? Because when my song hits a certain threshold, Spotify's algorithm starts favoring it more. This can get my tracks into Discover Weekly and Spotify Radio, 
where it reaches new listeners organically. It's like a chain reaction. Once the algorithm sees my song getting good engagement, it gives it even more exposure. And the best part, these streams are free. I just want this boost to come from real fans so that Spotify learns what the listening habits of fans who love my music are. And so that makes it easy for Spotify to find more of them. And then step number three, using Spotify's discovery mode. I got another boost when I got access to Spotify's discovery mode. Now, not every artist has access to this right away. You need to meet certain criteria. Officially right now, that is that you need to have at least uh, three eligible songs and 250,000 monthly listeners. And you need to be in a country where discovery mode is available. But then I have heard from several artists in our community who got access to discovery mode with less than 10,000 monthly listeners. So this is something Spotify might be experimenting with. In any case, once I got qualified, I opted as many tracks as possible into discovery mode. Now, because I make house music, I often release a short and a more DJ friendly long version of a song. And so in those cases, I would only opt the short version into discovery mode to avoid any unnecessary competition between versions of the same track. So in summary, here's how I went from zero to a quarter million streams a month on Spotify. First, I run Instagram and Facebook ads. I target diehard fans and send them to a playlist with my music on it. Second, I leverage Spotify's popularity score. I push tracks with scores close to 20 to get more algorithmic boost. And third, I use Spotify's discovery mode. Each of these three steps was like a booster that got me more listeners, streams and fans compared to what I was doing before. And combined, they have helped me to get where I am right now. And you know what the best part is? If you have similar goals for your music, you can use these same steps to get there. None of these is special. They work for any music genre. What they require is just a little bit of patience to let your audience grow. And if you bring that, I truly believe that sky is the limit. With that said, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell buttons below so you can get more videos like this on YouTube. And if you're curious about how to set up ads that grow Spotify listeners, streams and fans nonstop on each easy mode, then check out this video right here where I break it down click by click. See ya!